With a real estate career spanning over five decades, Nell Realtors has helped make Sepulpa, Oklahoma a more prosperous community. After moving to Sepulpa and graduating from high school in 1952, Bob Nell enlisted in the Marine Air Reserves, serving two years, and then served in the U.S. Army from 1954 to 1956. Returning to Sepulpa, Bob and his brother Bill opened Nell's Lanes in 1958. In 1967, a fire totally destroyed the family-owned bowling alley, which turned out to be a life-changing event for both Bob and Sepulpa. Left with only a six-acre plot of land, Bob attended real estate and broker school so he could ensure he was getting the most value out of his property. There he quickly obtained his real estate license and just two years later was able to open up his own business, Nail Real Estate. In 1970, a good friend and Tulsa realtor, Mr. Frank Kinslow, recognized that Bob had a talent for the real estate business and invited him to come to his Tulsa office to learn from his group. Bob became the first realtor from Sepulpa to join the Metropolitan Tulsa Board of Realtors. Bob's breakthrough in commercial real estate came during a 1972 trip to Bentonville where he met with Sam Walton. Bob asked that Walmart come and open a store in Sepulpa. Just four days later, a site was selected for the first Walmart store, which is now Reesers, at the Rock Creek Shopping Center. In 1985, Sam called Bob and told him that he wanted to expand the Sepulpa Walmart, in Sam's words, as soon as possible. The expansion was denied by the city of Sepulpa. Negotiations took over six years, but eventually Enlo Auto Auction was moved to its new site on New Sepulpa Road, and Walmart was relocated to its present location in 1991. Through the sales from the nail agency, the Sepulpa business community continued to grow. For evidence of the growth potential in our community, we just have to look at the beginning of Jack Wacob's business. Jack's business career is an amazing success story. Starting at 18 East Hobson Street in 1973 and growing to the current Paragon Industries on Highway 117. Diversification of businesses escalated dramatically as new eating establishments were added.
Along with the restaurants came recreation spaces, retail stores, and much more. These were now all available in Sepulpa. As the economy grew, so did the selection of banks. Sepulpa became a better place to be on Route 66. Drug and grocery stores came to Sepulpa. even government facilities began to grow. Former locations transitioned into new businesses. Because of the population growth due to the expanding business market and larger tax base, Sepulpa was able to consolidate two schools and update its facilities. The choices available to sepulpins from medical and dental facilities also expanded.
As a result of his commercial real estate work, Bob was asked to join the board of directors of American National Bank and Trust Company, now American Heritage Bank. Sepulpa residential subdivisions and assisted living centers also expanded with the economy. Bob's unique vision and understanding of the lay of the land led to the creation of the southeast sewer basin east of Sepulpa along Highway 117, which led to the upscale housing addition of the lakes that cross timbers. Recognizing the need for rental apartments and housing, Bob organized the principals to complete the task of meeting these needs. Brad Bingman of Keller Williams and Bob Nell joined together to locate and sell to Joni Rogers Conte of Synagence International, the old country club property and the distribution site west of Sepulpa. Over recent years, Nell Realtors has continued to make major moves leading to commercial real estate sales that have added needed tax dollars to the community, thus expanding the Sepulpa job market.